Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps your bank information private when shopping online. Take control of your subscriptions and other recurring payments, plus pause and close privacy cards at any time. And get $5 right now to try the service at collision.live slash privacy. Our next guest is here. Hello. Hi. How are you? I am doing great. How are you? Great. Um, can you please Be- introduce before you, yourself? Before you do that, the thing that you're you're fighting right now, if you push the headband back a little bit, you won't have to fight it anymore. There it is. Okay. And then pull your mic down. Perfect. Uh, perfect. Here we go. Go ahead and introduce yourself for us. Hi, my name is Humera Ahmed. I'm the founder and CEO of Locale, which is an app for women to easily connect with other like-minded women for connection, support, and mentorship. You should download the app. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so she, she's actually memorizing the spelling in yeah. her head, oh. looking at your tag, so that oh, she that's can, right. So she can yeah, go download awesome. it on the next break. Yeah, I knew <laughs> that's ex- awesome. I like, knew exactly what she was doing. That's awesome. <laughs> that's what it's for. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. Can you step us through a little bit about like how that works? Yeah, so it's like LinkedIn, uh, but for women. Uh, with a fo- it's but better <laughs> because we give better curated matches based on your professional interests, personal interests, industries, as well as how you'd like to get together. So, for instance, some people like to get together over coffee. Some people like to get together over wine. Um, and also, we we list events that are relevant to our women who are predominantly women in tech, um, as well as some discounts. So, so that's what it's all about. So it's really connecting women um, and helping them advance in their careers through those connections. Because again, we can't be what we can see and our goal at uh, locale is to give women that the platform where they can easily connect with other women who have navigated these like bro culture tech you know male dominated industries uh, how have you done it you know these are my challenges I get mansplained I get men interrupted these are the real challenges women face a lot of it is sub, you know unconscious bias mm-hmm. and uh, how do we navigate what are the, some of the words we can use to help because a lot of times it's not even like you know men's fault it's just yeah. not. It's just it's instilled. Just, it's just how they have it's been. Part of society. It's part of society. You know? And a lot of them are male allies. Mm-hmm. So, um, but it's just about education. So here's what you can say in a respectful way. That's not going to offend them, but also help them understand, you know, that, you know, this is how, you know, we should all yeah. operate together yeah. for, for women. This is to how to communicate with everyone. Exactly. Uh-huh. And to actually not just like survive in the tech field, but thrive. And the reason for me even doing this is because I have a background in software engineering. I've been in tech for over a decade. Yes. Come. Yes. Come just, just graduated. Right yeah. I mean, Amazing. I'm going to be a software engineer in a Oh my a gosh. <laughs> That's, um, oh my gosh. We should totally connect. Definitely. Yeah. Um, on your app. On my app. Yes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the best app. Um, and yeah, so, you know, and women, uh, over 56% of the women in uh, STEM fields in U.S. quit their jobs mid-career because they feel isolated, frustrated, lonely. And that's a shame because it's mid-career, right? It's like they mm-hmm. get they get excited. You should be thriving right now. Exactly, yeah. right? And there's so much pressure for, from companies' perspectives from, like, diversity and inclusion. And even if they end up attracting the right talent, they can't retain them. And women leave, right? And it's actually the numbers are getting worse. I think it was 22% like a decade ago, and now it's 18% women in mid, you know, um, mid-career. And uh, in Canada, that number's even higher. It's like over 60% of the women quit their jobs. So I was like, I've been there. I've had to quit my jobs a few times in tech because here's the thing I find. I've interviewed hundreds of women in tech. We have over like 1,000 women in tech on our platform. Mm-hmm. The one thing that's consistent is that they, they say by mid-career, we've had enough. You know, we have other priorities. You really start to reassess your life. Like, what is priority? You know, you may have kids. You may have, you know, travel. You may have family. Like, whatever may be going on, it's like, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to just, you know, maybe move into another industry that's more welcoming. Um, and so I was like, this, is, this should not be happening. If we want more women, tech is for everyone. How do we empower these women to actually not just, you know, like, thrive but really thrive yeah exactly and yeah. women in tech world it's a grassroots not for profit organization in Canada they actually did like a year-long uh, road show or tour across Canada to really find out you know why women quit their jobs and all this the details of that okay and a lot of it was like lack of mentorship again we can be what we can see a lot of the you know executives like they always say this and you probably have heard this like there's more Johns like than all the female CEOs combined, mm-hmm. like more John CEOs or more James CEOs even. Okay. 
which is a shame. So how do we, again, if I don't see a female CEO, I'm not going to see that myself as that. Yeah, right? what do I look up to exactly. as I'm going through this process in my life? You exactly. Know? We need those role models. And so that's kind of the premise of the platform, to have the safe space where we can actually talk about issues that matter. How do we actually take action? So not like a renting platform, but more of a, okay, here's what happened. Here's what do I do? And for solutions. Women who exactly. Solutions, connections, yeah. mentorship. So we're going to introduce mentor moments this fall. So that's going to be really exciting because I believe every woman has something to offer. Um, and it doesn't have to be a mentorship program. It, it could be a coffee. Sometimes all it takes is a coffee. Sometimes all it takes is a dinner, right? Like, yeah. mm -hmm. here's where I'm feeling. Okay, what do you think? And just helping us move in the right direction and not like be more opinionated about what we think. So um, so I really, really believe that we need to come together, support each other. And we're actually collaborating with a lot of women's groups because again, we want to come together to actually advance women in, in careers. And that's that's my biggest passion. I have two little girls, so that's oh, even, yeah. that makes it even more yeah. important for You have me to make to be it better for them. And yeah. for them, mm -hmm. yeah. Which is, I think, which is should always be every every generation's goal is to make, it make better the world for better yeah. for yeah. Yeah their kids mm -hmm. yeah and I think it's kind of sad in that if you don't have kids are you never gonna you know uh, are you never going to realize that like I think as a society like we should just like really think about the social issues so for me like locale is a social impact company okay we are yeah. really focused on bringing about social impact and actually today on LinkedIn because we had announced like LinkedIn for women in Toronto has like you know launched and um, I got this message from from a man and he was like very sexist, you know. How would you feel if we had like a LinkedIn for Jews? And I was like, you know what? That would be totally fine. I mean, if you wanted you to do that. You have a connection with the people that exactly. are like you. I mean, you still do that, you know, whether yeah. it's community, yeah. whether it's church, like whatever, you still do that. Yeah. So if you want to create a platform, go for do it. Do it. And as long as, you know, it empowers people, mm -hmm. like I'm not against, you know, I, I love our men allies we need men to support us and understand and help us advance because they do want women to succeed yes um so for us it's not about that but in terms of using our platform we don't want this to turn into a dating app yeah that's the last thing we want and that's exactly what happens like even like there's shaper there's link like i mean of course linkedin it's just like hi like you know love what you're doing let's go for coffee and i'm like what that's am I not doing? What, this what do is. you do? Uh -huh. Yeah. Like, what, what? What's the premise? Like, what's the context? Yeah. Like, there's yeah. no what? sense of that. Is this business? Why yeah. Why did I get this like, message? Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, I don't have time for this. Like, I have so much stuff to do. Like, you know, so give me more context at least. You know. So yeah. Yeah. I think that there's there's definitely that angle mm -hmm. to it. But the events that we support or the events that we do, we do make sure that you know men are somehow part of it because we need both sides to come together for solution making, for education, for support. Uh, but in terms of the platform, we really need. We really need a safe space. So when you sign up on on your platform, do you specify whether you're a mentor or you want to be? So mentor mentored? moments has not been introduced okay. yet. Okay. But that's still happening, yeah. which is why we're going to launch it because our users were, you know, like using it for that as well. So you know, again, like a lot, ninety percent of the apps fail because um, people built before even the users have a chance to actually use it, and. So, so we didn't want to do that. We're like, okay, let's just see like what women are using it for. So for advice, for mentorship, for even like friendships, like they're using it for that. And they actually asked us like, we need forums now. Like we need to talk about these things. Like who, where do we go? Uh, so they currently use Facebook. So we are going to introduce actually forums um, and we're getting one of a, an amazing advisors on our team soon um, to actually help us with that. But um, but yeah, so right now it's not that, but you can enter your, so as part of onboarding, like mm -hmm. you select your professional interests, uh, personal interests, your industries that you're interested in or are you are already in. And then also how you'd like to get together. So coffee, walk, you can pick your ways to meet. And then based on that, as well as location, um, you get matches that are close to you and have more in common. This is incredible. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I'm like all in right now. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, you also mentioned that uh, you guys are already working with uh, women organizations. Mm -hmm. um, can you list a couple of those? Yeah. So Women in Tech World is our biggest um, ally uh, because, again, for us, like the core values and the mission mm -hmm. is the most important thing. What's your end goal? Like, is it to empower, advance women? If that's the goal, like genuinely, mm -hmm. we want to work with you. Um, and so, so that's been my biggest thing. So that's one of the organizations that we're act actively working with. There's a few others that I, I mean, we haven't partnered yet. Okay. Um, but there's I like, can definitely help you with the Society of Women Engineers. If that that's, would be yeah. amazing. I'm already a member of that, that organization. Would be amazing. And I can get 
women to that would use be amazing. this platform. Let's sign you up. Yeah. <laughs> but, I'll, but I'll, we do. We'll talk. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, that's that's kind of like for us, like that's the core mission. Because for a lot of times I'm also finding that the diversity inclusion is such a hot topic. But it's like I feel like it's it's almost becoming more of like who wants to be known and shown as like this champion, but they're not actually doing much, you know? Yeah. So there's a lot of groups like that and I just cannot, and I'm not gonna name them, but I just cannot stand that. Mm -hmm. It's become more of like, you know, celebrity, like, oh, you know, like we are champions of diversity and inclusion. Okay, but what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so those are the groups for me. Lip service is Exactly, enough. no, for me, it's like, all talk, no show does not work here. Yeah. Uh, you know, I have, I have been depressed. I've been isolated. I have always wanted these connections and I'm a strong woman. And I was like, if I have a hard time, I don't, I can't understand, like I can't imagine how younger women, you know, have such a hard time and who do you look up to? So, so for me, like it's really about empowering women and, yeah. Uh, and yeah, so it's not about like making all this money, like eventually money will come. Yeah, like, sure. I, I, I really believe that. And we have a strategy for that, but it's also like, let's just, stay always stay mm -hmm. true to our core values and we filter every decision based on that whether it's team everything is like is this within our like 100%. mission yeah if not it's so easy for me to say no otherwise it's like all right let's that's, sign you up that's an important aspect especially for a startup because mm -hmm. they always tend to be like yes yes yes, yes. and you end up falling yeah. outside yeah, of your yeah. core business mm -hmm. and your core mission and, and you, know, once you, you don't do that, attract the right people then and that's what i've learned like i stay true to and i've been in tech for over a decade so i know like a little bit about that and for me it was like okay here's my mission and a lot of times like even when we were looking for investment we actually got some loan from bdc and that's been an amazing decision for us oh, which great. is so great and we'll still raise i mean we have to raise to scale mm -hmm. um but what I found was even with the investors, it's like, just get the money, just get the money, just get the money. And I was like, I don't feel good about investor A, B, Z. Uh, I only like investor X, Y, Z. And here's why. Your core value is like, yeah, my what do you want to invest? Yeah. Okay. Like, you know, what about the ad support model? Because you can make so much money that way. And I know, that's exactly what happened with Facebook. They decided, they, they took so much money that all the decisions they started to make was, how do you please investors? How do you get yep. the ROI? And then you steer away from... You lose, the who mission. You, you lose who you are. Yeah. And yeah. look at Facebook's constantly under this like scandal and now there's a dating. and Especially the last oh, 18 months. Oh, Lord. Right. So I just think what I've learned so far, now we're actually attracting the right investors because they know where it gets out. Right. Like Humera is not going to take money from people like that. She's only going to take money from people who are actually <laughs> smart, like legit smart. They yeah. can actually help you advance. Like they have connections with the right people, with the good core values. Yeah. They may have daughters. They may have, you know, whatever that may be. And I'm like, I'm all for it. You know, so. So, so that's that's amazing. So good things happen. We're not about short-term strategy. It's like longer-term goal. So, yeah. Cool. Where are you currently based in? So we are based out of Victoria, okay. but our most of our user base is in Vancouver. Um, and uh, so Victoria, Vancouver, now Toronto, um, as well as uh, launching in Calgary in two weeks at InVentures, which is the largest um you know, tech conference for investors as well as founders. Mm -hmm. So, so okay. that's amazing. They got 4,000 attendees. Um, and then also Seattle. Uh, we also I got invited to yeah, go to a SaaS good. talk in Berlin um, as oh, well wow. as, yeah, SFO, the same, but the same uh, company. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's, it's, it's just, just kind of, it's going crazy. But I think, again, we are attracting the right people because they know Himera's legit. She actually wants to make an impact. And I don't have any other motives beyond that. Yeah. Everything else will just follow. So I think it's just about staying true to who we are. And I love that even yeah. more. Right? Yes. And it's, yeah, and just listening to our users. And this is the best thing about us. Like right now we have just over a thousand users and that's great. Wow. We don't want to, we, we never wanted to grow too fast. And I remember some of my initial investor conversations were like, you should have had like thousands of users. And I'm like, do you care about the actual user base? Do you actually care if they're yeah. going to actually use it, engage, make an impact? I'd and they're rather like, have a thousand yeah. active, correct Good. users exactly. with real connections real that connections. are already working. Yeah. Exactly. Versus 10,000 nonsense exactly. users. Exactly. Yeah. And, and it's also like the capital, like if you have the marketing dollars, you can sure, like you can, you know, be everywhere and get the user base that way, but are mm -hmm. they actually going to use it? Then you have to do ad support model. Anyway, so attracting the right people has always been the biggest thing for us yeah. um, and doing the right thing. And, um, and yeah. Definitely. That's great. I mean, I'm in love. Aw, <laughs> thank you. You already got me sold. <laughs> thank you so much. That means so much to me. Well, how, um, 
Can you tell our viewers how they can find out more about your platform? Yeah. Uh, to all the women, <laughs> you can download the app. We are available in both app stores, so iTunes as well as Google Play. Uh, it's uh, locale.com, L-O-C-E-L-L-E.com. Uh, um, and, yeah, find your tribe. Well, thank you. Absolutely. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank you so, so, much, so much for having me. We really appreciate talking thank to you. Thank you so much. And we'll get connected, don't yeah, we? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Have a great rest of the show. Thank you. You too.